Alex Griffin is outside in the backyard because it's her favorite place and you're watching Mueller Husky. If you guys have been following us along on TikTok, this video is just a compilation of all of the Fluff Master 10,000 videos I've done over there. This will be the Fluff Master 10,000 Operating Manual Part 1. There's going to be a Part 2. I love making these videos. They seem to have done pretty well. I just wanted to put them all together here in one place so you can have your operating manual. I'm coming to you guys from my studio right now. This is basically where I sit and edit all my videos and work every day. So I thought it might be like a nice little personal touch. So without any further ado, here is your Fluffmaster 10,000 Operating Manual Part 1. Congratulations! You are the proud new owner of a Fluffmaster 10,000. The Fluffmaster comes in two speeds. Speed 100 and speed zero. The Fluffmaster 10,000 has a robust alarm system that will alert you of many things unless that thing is an intruder. The Fluffmaster alarm system comes in only one volume, 100% drama. A special feature of the Fluffmaster 10,000 is that it will alert you that you are in fact asleep, in case you didn't already know. At times it may appear that your Fluffmaster is stuck. Do not be alarmed. It is. This is part of its rest cycle. The Fluffmaster 10,000 folds for easy storage. It is important that you familiarize yourself with the intricate craftsmanship of the Fluffmaster 10,000. A standard Fluffmaster parts list may include but is not limited to the following features. Zoomers, applicable for both propulsion and excavation. Sole pools, good for acquiring snacks as well as passing judgment. Selective sonar, often appears faulty. Siren and snack tray. Snoot, some models tolerant of boops, and the Fluff Rudder. Fluff Rudder can also act as a snoot warmer. Fluffmaster 10,000 is coated in a protective cloud casing that requires routine maintenance and should never be fully removed, leaving the Fluffmaster vulnerable to the elements. Some models may vary. A key step in Fluffmaster 10,000 setup is the programming. The Fluffmaster can be taught simple voice commands or hand gestures to reach a desired outcome. Programming the Fluffmaster to recognize these cues will take patience, repetition, and a constant refilling of the snack tray. You may customize your Fluffmaster 10,000 by assigning a name and initiating the name recognition sequence. It is important to remember, however, that the sonar feature is selective and at times name recognition sequence may not appear effective. Let's go inside. This is no cause for alarm, as the Fluffmaster has merely initiated the prioritization protocol. Some certified pre models will already appear to have programming established, however it may take time for the Fluffmaster to acclimate to the new environment. Continued refilling of the snack tray is recommended. The following is a quick guide for troubleshooting your Fluffmaster 10,000. Many small issues on the Fluffmaster can be addressed by refilling the snack tray or using the factory reset buttons, located between the selective sonar receptors or on the undercarriage. Please note, however, that a certain level of adorkability is to be expected and is a normal function of the Fluffmaster 10,000. Alarm stuck in the on position. Faulty sonar. And a delayed startup sequence can all be addressed by refilling the snack tray. You may also try factory reset for all of the above except delayed startup sequence. This may actually further delay the startup. For alarm stuck in the off position, you may want to close your eyes, listen to the peace and quiet, and ask yourself if this is really a feature you want to activate. For overzooming, you may need to increase the frequency of the zoom subroutine in the daily programming. At times, your Fluffmaster 10,000 may appear to be assembled incorrectly. This is no cause for alarm as the Fluffmaster will return to neutral position eventually. Eventually. For more serious issues, please consult a licensed Fluffmaster 10,000 service provider. In order to keep operating at peak performance, it is important to properly charge your Fluffmaster 10,000. There are many different types of charging ports that you can place in various locations in your home. Some charging ports even work outside. You may choose to program your Fluffmaster 10,000 to pair with a specific charging station, however there are no guarantees. One of the more impressive features of the Fluffmaster 10,000 is its ability to charge anywhere, with or without a proper charging port. Some models of the Fluffmaster 10,000 are eco-friendly and periodically prefer to use solar power. A word of caution, please ensure you supply enough lubricant and a shade option in order to prevent overheating the battery. Okay. Each Fluffmaster 10,000 comes standard with the WALK program already installed. This is a sequence that should be initiated daily in order to ensure proper functionality of the Fluffmaster. Frequency and duration vary by model. The Wander and Learn Knowledge program allows the Fluffmaster 10,000 to properly map the surrounding environment. It is often referred to by its acronym as many models can self-program to recognize this voice command. Enjoy walk. Initiating the program without following through can lead to overzooming. 
Depending on your model of Fluffmaster, the WALK program can be executed at varying speeds and locations. For convenience, the Fluffmaster 10,000 also has a built-in alarm that will remind you when it is time to initiate the WALK program. This alarm cannot be snoozed. The Fluffmaster 10,000 alarm system comes with a variety of audio and visual alarm options. The operating system runs a powerful algorithm to determine which alarm to choose for each situation. These options include the standard awu, the grumble, the stamp, and the double stamp, the ra ra ra, the huff, the fancy dance, the silent but effective, and finally, the scream. Please note that the severity of the alarm does not always correlate to the urgency of the situation. One of the more impressive feats of engineering on the Fluffmaster 10,000 is the protective cloud casing. This patented advanced fluff technology uses a two-layer cloud fiber shield to fight against cold, sun damage, and other such elements. Routine maintenance of the cloud casing is key for its proper functionality. The two-layer shield material is so advanced that the Fluffmaster regenerates new fibers daily. Failing to remove the old shield fibers can result in a rather disheveled and cranky Fluffmaster 10,000. There are a variety of tools that can aid in your cloud casing daily maintenance. It is ideal to clear old shield fibers a little bit daily to avoid cloud buildup. You may even choose to use the advanced blower technique periodically for greater cloud clearing efficiency. Generous refilling of the snack tray after each session is advised to keep cloud maintenance a positive experience. Some frequently asked questions for the Fluffmaster 10,000. My Fluffmaster came with some parts missing. Is this okay? Yes, as long as your Fluffmaster 10,000 can still function comfortably, it is perfectly okay. This particular model is missing a sole pool, but can still zoom and catch snacks as well as the rest of them. If you have a serious concern about your model's parts, please see a licensed Fluffmaster 10,000 service provider. Is my Fluffmaster supposed to pull so much during the WALK program? This is perfectly normal. Fluffmaster 10,000s were originally designed to pull light loads over great distances. You may choose to program over your Fluffmaster's pull feature if that is what fits your needs, however there is no guarantee that this will be effective. You may want to just sit back and enjoy the ride. Please ensure that the proper equipment is always used. My Fluffmaster 10,000 uses the snack tray for excavation. Is it malfunctioning? Yes, yes it is. That is just weird. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Friday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. If you want to see more TikTok compilations, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. What are you doing back here? All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye. Say bye, Phoenix. All right, you just, you do you.